Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm out doing a bit of ledger fishing, a bit of feeder fishing on the local river in the hopes of catching some bream. I've been set a challenge by the guys over at Shakespeare to try and catch a specimen bream on this Challenge XT feeder setup, which is what I'm using today. It's a full setup just like that barbel setup I used uh, in a video a couple of weeks ago. Um, the kit comes with absolutely everything you need to start feeder fishing. Reel loaded with line, about a six pound line I think it's got on there. Um, the feeder rod with two different tips so you could fish heavier or lighter if you choose to. Comes with a box with all your rig bits and bobs in, a couple of feeders, hook lengths, everything you need to start off feeder fishing basically. So today I'm out using that kit in the hopes of getting a specimen bream on the river. You'll have never ever seen me catch a bream um, on the river in any of my videos because they are so elusive. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to find one today, um, but I have a rough area where I know there's some some hiding and these fish get really, really big, probably above seven pound even. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled today. I've already found a swim which has some fish in it. I've seen a couple of bream, so I'm, I'm fairly confident to start off with, but it is a barbel swim. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to set my rig up now. My rod's already on the rod rest. Um, I'll get it all set up. We'll get cast out and hopefully we can get some fish we're fishing natural baits today because it's really really cold it's only eight degrees today um obviously the air temperatures dropping the water temperatures dropped a lot and the fish aren't going to be feeding as heavily and they're going to get full really quickly so we're not going to be putting in loads of high protein pellets because uh, they're going to get full up a bit too quick so we're going to fish natural baits uh, we're going to fish maggots and worms on the hook and fingers crossed we can pull out some nice fish today if I can't catch any bream, then at least hopefully I can have some fun catching barbel and chub. Let's crack on with the video, stop talking, let's get some fish on the bank. I think it's a perch, actually. Swimming upstream now. Always oh, really kiting upstream, that's not a perch. Yeah, he's peeling line. Absolutely belted right upstream. He's definitely not a bream. I don't think it's a chub. And he's definitely not a perch. I'd be shocked if this is a bream anyway. <laughs> Gotta be a barb, hasn't it? So I'm fishing fairly light, so I'm not going to go too hard on him. Don't know if it's breaking off or anything. He's really scrapping hard. Oh no, he's come off. Oh no, he didn't break me or anything. Oh, it's a little bit of it's come off. What a shame. The rod was coping really well though on that on that bar, but it like a decent size one too. Never mind. <laughs> Let's carry on fishing. Might even twix while I'm waiting. As soon as you eat food when you're fishing, you well, tend to get a bite now. There we go. <laughs> as soon as I check my phone, it happens all the damn time. <laughs> I can guarantee the moment I go on my phone, that's when it goes. That's not a bar. That's not a bream, should I say. That's another barbel. Setup goes really well with these barbel set shakes. 
I'm gonna just go and look. I'm just gonna look here with those other fish. Beautiful barbel. Good size one. Stunning fish. Worm just on the corner of his mouth. Look at that beautiful fish. Absolute stunner. Oh, he's a good size too. <laughs> the buggers aren't they, Barbel? You never want to sit still. Proper ADHD fish. But look at that, absolute beauty. Just caught on worms. It's that time of the year when natural baits start to really take over from the pellets and boilies that people like to use in the warmer months. This fish is freezing cold. Yeah, just took a bunch of worms on the hook, feeding maggots and a few pellets in between. And uh, this is actually the fourth barbel take I've had. First one I had just snapped me off because I was fishing really light, for, hoping for bream. And the second two just managed to pop off during the fight. And then finally I managed to nail one. An absolute beauty as well. Let's get it back. Right, so it's time to move swims. I'm a bit gutted about this swim, really. Uh, had some nice bream in it that I saw to start off with. The uh, barbel bullied the bream out. I managed to hook three barbel before eventually I landed one. It was a really nice fish. Shame we didn't get them with them ones I lost before, and one of them I think were far though. So it's time to move on to a different swim. Fingers crossed we can pull out some more fish before I have to go home. I've got another maybe an hour and a half of fishing. Let's crack on and see what we can get. So as you can tell, I'm on a different swim. I'm a second swim for the day. Well, I say second swim, I've looked at maybe three or four. Can't see a single fish in any of them. Only a couple of spooky chub. Um, so now I'm into a swim where I found a few barbel. I'm shaded by all the trees, meaning there's no sunlight, direct sunlight hitting the swim. There's also no wind that's bothering me when we're casting. And uh, fingers crossed we can get one of these fish out. I've seen a couple barbel feeding. There's no bream, um, but I've seen some nice barbel too. I'm sticking with the exact same rig I've used in my last swim and um, we'll just see how the swim goes on, see how the bites go and adjust the rig accordingly. But I've got some nice fish feeding and maggots and pellets. Let's get the rig ready, cast it out and see if we can catch any. Right, so I've been in this swim now for maybe 15-20 minutes. Maybe a bit longer. I've had a few takes, which I'm sure were proper takes, where the rot tips really rattled, really banged round. Um, I sort of felt the weight of one, and the others just come off. Um, but I think it's because of my hooks. I'm just using quite big, thick, uh, size 10 barbed hooks, and I think it's not quite like summertime. They're not rocketing off when they take the bait. They're just sitting on the spot and shaking the head when they're picking up the bait, meaning they're able to spit that hook back out quite easily. So what I need to do is use a finer hook. So I'm going to go down to a size 14, um, which is obviously a thinner gauge hook. It's more of a maggot hook, actually. Um, and we're going to try and get fish that way. Obviously, I'm feed, fishing a lighter feeder setup, meaning that it can cushion the head shakes of these barbel and chub and hopefully not bend the hook out which is a theory. So I'm going to go out there now, just a couple of maggots on, a little finer, finer hook, and we'll see if we can hook into one of these barbel. There we go, there we go. What a take. 
What a take. That's a barbel. Oh, it's a good size one too. On this light feeder setup, this feels great. <laughs> Get around, bending double. On a beautiful big river barbel. Well, little river big barbel. Just snagged down there, I don't want to get me snagged up. Should have put the waders on today. What a fish, what a fight. If you're wondering why my, my drag set is so light, because I'm fishing fairly light, fishing six pound main and six pound hook length. Obviously main target was bream. Obviously fishing a light rod, which means I can get away with fishing with lighter line, because obviously it's a softer tip. You avoid break-offs as easy. This is a good size barbel. Jeez, tying up just a tad. Bigger than the one I had earlier, I'm glad I moved. They're a real specimen fish. Making my arm ache. It's a good size barbel, this one. Really, really nice size one. Might not be far for double figure fish, actually. Oh, there's a pike. Don't bite me off. Like I've had pike attack barbel before and bite through the line. Don't you dare. He's not a big pike either. Don't you dare. He's getting ready to attack it. Don't you dare. Barbel's way too big for you. Pike's about eight or nine pound. This barbel's bigger than that. It's barbel might be. Might be a nine pounder anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a beast. Oh my god, that's a 10 pounder. Now I've just moved out of the blaring sunlight to get a better look at this fish. It's a beautiful 10 pound, 11 ounce barbel. Caught on two red maggots. What a beautiful, proud looking fish. I think a pike's a little nibble of his tail, this one. What an absolute stunner. It's been a while since I've had a double figure barb like this river. And uh, what a beautiful fish at that. 10 pound, 11 ounce. <laughs> what a fight. Let's get him back. guys we're now coming to the end of the session unfortunately challenge was failed today um, obviously I was set the challenge of trying to catch some specimen bream if I wanted to I could have been made it really really easy and just gone to the local canal or commercial fishery and I could have easily have caught bream but I decided to come to the river where I haven't caught one in over 10 years and they're very elusive I found some straight away but they didn't want to play ball and I ended up having a cracking session anyway and had probably my biggest, well my second biggest barbel I've ever caught and the biggest one of the year so far um, at £10, 11 ounce I think it was and I've really enjoyed myself. If you want to check out the setup that I've used today I'll leave it in the link below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later.